Is your business embarrassing? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I wanted to talk a little bit about business embarrassment. And it oftentimes it comes with the industry that you're in. You may be part of an industry that has a track record. Sometimes uh, certain types of lawyers get this, especially if you're an injury lawyer and so you know, and the trial lawyers. Uh, sometimes if you are in uh, network marketing, you got all the baggage that comes along with that. Um, there's numerous reasons why you'd be embarrassed to be in the type of business you're in. Uh, but there's a reason why you're doing it. There's something about it you like. It could just be the money, but more than likely it's more than just the money. It's <laughs> There's actually things that you think that you're doing a good job with. You think you're going in a good direction. And it's why you do your business. And if that's not the case, then I suggest finding a way to transition out. But if you want to overcome embarrassment in your business, the way to really do that, that I see that could be really helpful, is to get people to defocus from the industry that you're involved in. And you need to remove that stigma by not relating yourself with everybody else. Not uh, what they call commoditization, you know, making yourself a commodity, making yourself look like everybody else, act like everybody else, talk about it just like everybody else, right? How do you do that? You do it by making it more about the one-on-one -on -one relationship. Making it more, first, about you. You, you've got to put yourself out there and allow people a chance to get to know you, if that makes sense. Uh, a lot of this can be done through content marketing. All right, It's getting information, getting entertainment, getting uh, some form of substance out to people. And you got to think about, okay, how would I want my customers to be educated? How would I want them to be thinking about me long before we ever start this relationship, long before they buy their first product or service from me. How do I want them thinking versus the way that they normally are? And you gotta go from there, from where you want them, to where you know that they're at, and what are the questions that they're asking. And they're probably not even the right questions, right? But if they are, even if they're not the right questions, you've got to be able to have a way to Take that question and work it over to the question they should be having. Work them over to the mindset that you think that they should have. It's a, it's a process and it's not something that needs to be done deviously. You just you need to start with where they are and take them over there. And that's done through a process called content marketing. Now, if you have never really spent major time or effort in building out content marketing, you're going to wonder whether this is really right for you or not. Now, I have a training that I put together. It's all about whether content marketing is right for you or not. I'm a proponent of content marketing, but I also recognize that there's at least seven scenarios that a person should not do content marketing in. And if you're one of those, I suggest that you don't do content marketing. But to find that out, uh, go check out my training. You can go get it at my website. Go to contentmarketingquestion.com. This is for this very specific training. Currently, at the time of this podcast, uh, we're selling it for $90. You can get it there. Uh, it has also a, a, it's got, got to have a transcript on there. We're going to include other materials over time. We'll email you as soon as we update that on the website. So go and check that out. Uh, that's contentmarketingquestion.com. That's all I've got for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, you get out there and let the magic happen.